provides. <coughs> Welcome to quality and welding methodology. <coughs> Today we are discussing on structure properties of weld joints. <coughs> Formation of regions having different microstructure during welding. What is the composite have? Weld is a composite having different properties in different zone. <coughs> Metallurgical joint zone in typical weld as a result of non -mat matching filler metal and heat distribution characteristics. The weld joint is usually a chemical heterogeneous composite consisting of as many as metallurgical. Metallurgically six distinct region. regions, namely the composite zone, the unmixed zone, the weld interface, the partially melted zone, the heat affected zone, the unaffected best metal. <coughs> composite zone Admixture of filler metal and melted base metal <coughs> compress completely melted and homogeneous well fusion zone in the composite zone. For instance, instance when a grey cast iron is welded with nickel electrode, this region would contain a homogeneous well pool of nickel filler metal. Dilated with melted grey cast iron base metal, the chemical composition of the composite zone would be the weighted average of the elements like carbon, nickel, iron, manganese, etc. From the both the filler metal and the melted base metal, even completely dissimilar metals such as copper, nickel, or instance can be welded autogenously to each other without filler metal using GTAW and bulk composition of zone would be sur surprisingly uniform. <coughs> Unmixed zone, the narrow region surrounding the bulk composite zone is unmixed zone which consists of boundary layer of melted base metal that forged before undergoing any mixing the molt, molted composite zone. This usually is available when filler metal composition is different from the base metal. For example, pure nickel filler metal and grey cast iron base metal. Obviously, it is <coughs> if the filler metal matches the composition of the base metal, the unmixed zone will not be visible since the composition and cooling condition of the base metal would match those of the filler metal. For example, welding of pure nickel base metal with nickel filler using GTAW. <coughs> Weld interface, the third region, the third region defined in the weldments is weld interface clearly delineates the boundary between the unmelted, unsolidified base metal, partially melted zone, partially melted zone in the base metal immediately adjacent to the weld interface. Where some location melting may occur, the part melted zone is observed in many alloy that contain low melting inclusion and impurity or alloy segregation at grain boundaries. Location of liquidation of those low melting microscopic regions may occur and extend for 
the weld interface into the partially melted zone. The classic example, highness 80, where the equation of manganese solid 5 manganic sulfide inclusion result in hot cracking on microfacial which extend from the unmixed zone into the partially melted zone. <coughs> Heat affected zone, the true has is the portion of the well joint which has been subject to peak temperature high enough to produce sole solid state microstructure change but to low cause any melting from example in high carbon steel solid state carbon diffusion at low temperature from 250 to 100 degree centigrade during cooling of weldment may result in formation of hard martin site in the hedge the single phase alloy such as pure copper or pure nickel this evident by the increasing grain size from the outer extreme extremity of the hatch to maximum grain size at the weld interface. <coughs> Unaffected base metal, finally the part of the workpiece that has not undergo any metallurgical changes in the unaffected base metal. Although metallurg metallurgically unchanged, the unaffected base metal and the entire weld joint is likely to be in a state of high residual shrinkage stress depending on the degree of restraint imposed on the weld. <coughs> Evaluation of structure in weld pool. Weld pool structure. <coughs> Moshi zone behind the shaded area consists of solid dendrites and interdendrite liquid. Partially melted materials consist of solid grains that are partially melted and inter intergranular liquid part of the base metal get partially melted during welding. <coughs> Segregation during solidification impurities are pushed towards grain boundary. Evaluation of microstructure duly during solidification. <coughs> Effect of well speed on the structure of the fusion of aluminum. Cart columnar grain point towards well direction at low speed. Effect of travel speed. Travel speed has significant effect on the well pull shape. Low travel speed, electrical pull shape, cart columnar grain. Gradual change in GL and R. High travel speed, teardrop pull shape. Distinct center line, R is constant along most of SL interface. Competitive growth. Random orientation of base metal grain in polycrystal material. Growth most favorable when easy growth direction is parallel to the flow direction. Grain complete depending on the orientation interse intersection of grain formation, <coughs> solidification grain stretch, grains boundary. <coughs> Iron carbon phase diver. <coughs> The iron carbon diagram showing the cooling transformation of two different carbon steel from austenite to ferrite plus cementite. <coughs> Effect of cooling rate on microstructure and properties. 
सी 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 डायग्राम वन जीरो थ्री जीरो स्टील माइक्रोस्ट्रक्चर वन जीरो थ्री जीरो स्टील ए वेराइटी ऑफ माइक्रोस्ट्रक्चर्स हैंस प्रॉपर्टीज कैन बी ऑप्टेन इन स्टील बाई कंट्रोल कूलिंग स्ट्रक्चर फीचर्स ऑफ पॉटी स्टील फेरेटिक स्टील स्ट्रक्चर फीचर्स ऑफ फेरेटिक स्टील माइक्रोस्ट्रक्चर माइक्रोस्ट्रक्चर एंड हार्डनेस ऑफ हैड इन स्टील प्रीहीटिंग हेल्प रिड्यूस हार्डनेस ऑफ हैड बाय एक्सटेंडिंग टाइम इट स्पेन बिटवीन 800 टू 500 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड वेल क्रैकिंग टू मेंटेन स्ट्रेन कंपैटिबिलिटी बोथ मस्ट क्रीप एट सेम रेट दस क्वर्स ग्रैंड पोर्शन हैज टू सपोर्ट हायर स्ट्रेस दिस इज वाई हैज इज मोर सक्सेबिलिटी टू क्रैकिंग Thank you to be continued